Hey everyone! It is good to be back with another vlog and this time we are finally reaching the 5th month of the year, the month of May. With thrills in sharing what this vlog has to give, don't forget to give my video its well-deserved thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. The month of May, a month that was too jam-packed and the shakiest so far. It was this month that I had my cup full from the aspects in my life, work, academics, relationships, and everything in between. The month started with the celebration of the Idil Fitri or the Hari Raya, commencement of the Ramadan for this year. What a blessed month it was. Despite challenges, we actually survived. And I could not find a decent photo from my cloud with my family during the celebration, but usually our celebration is exclusive. Good morning vlog, it's May 2 and it's Eid and I'm home alone because I cannot pray for a reason that's valid of course. And I think alam naman ng lahat. Uh, baka hindi makafray, makafray, <laughs> makafray or fast ang isang girl. So basically I'm home and wala pa akong ligo, I'll be taking bath in a while. And may mga ointments ako nilagay sa aking pimples. Maybe this is because of the mask or because of the period, so you're breaking out and whatnot. So, I just came across my live vlog two, three years ago, and I'm so happy to do this. Because parang namis ko na talaga humarap sa ano, sa camera. And it's about time. I don't know how I will document this, but today is Eid, and I will be getting dressed in a while to join the family. Na sa prayer pa sila, Eid prayer. They are in the masjid or the mosque, and uh, I'll be seeing them in a while. So, I ako. I did shred the chicken and did some chores din kagabi and whatnot. So, I woke up so early at 6 plus, and now I'll be preparing. So, let's go. Sorry, dun sa mga ema ema, but they'll be healed soon. I think it's ito sa mask, this ito, I don't know, it's with a period or what. So, yeah. So we're now in our sala now, and this is how it looks like. So house tour yarn. So um, basically, they did the ano, they did stops already, and uh, it's 7:29. So I'll be going to my room and uh, be taking a bath. So let's go. Then, this was followed by the 2022 elections. As a student of law this time, my view of the Philippine politics shifted gradually. It is no ordinary election for me. I believe that the choice that I will make shall form a big part of what the future of the country will be like. Though some turnouts did not really go well, I guess that's just how most of our people decide. Well, let's see then. But overall, my experience of the elections this year was special in a way that I cared more. Though I was not that vocal in my social media platforms, but I knew where I was going or who I was choosing. After those hype, it was now time for me to gear up for my last event as a student coordinator, the 2022 CTE Recognition Day. I was actually afraid that these days are coming because I knew how busy I could get. I knew how each aspect in my life would be shaken and some things have to be compromised. And yes, I was not wrong. I was caught up with everything. The demands from work, my conduct of the online classes, the grades that I have to prepare, the exams that goes with it, the law school demands, and this event, the City of Recognition, went out of hand. As an overall chair for the awards committee, the conduct of meetings, plannings, and whatnots were non-stop. I had people working with me and all others, so I have to make sure all the things are well handled. I worked hard. I was hands-on, hence I often feel pressure when something grand happens. To a positive note though, I knew this was teaching me something. But to the worst of it, things seem to be out of my control. 
It was this time when life in law school and work did not jive anymore. I was working all day long, had classes for law school after, the requirements that I have to prepare, and usually I would come home late and tired. I barely had time for myself to even have a proper rest. I even had less moments with the people close to my heart this time. And to a very sad note, they were actually starting to feel upset for my busy schedule and that I was occupied most of the time. Law school became extra demanding as well, and I had a hard time keeping up with everything in my life. In total, it was so difficult. I was not feeling how intact things were. It was just not. I was not me. Our exam schedules collided with my work events and the preparations for the recognition day. Just imagine how I had to balance reviewing with my work and other demands like the requirements and all others. And most days, I felt bad about myself, criticizing that I was not doing enough. Why didn't I do well in that subject for this day? Why am I overworking? Why does it seem like nobody is there for me? Am I not enough or am I giving too much? Will the event that I'm going to hold become a success? Are we even prepared enough? I had these kinds of thoughts and it cost me a lot. More so, I kept telling myself that I was bad at everything at the moment, and all waves of hope seemed to be gone. the days kept on moving, I was really getting exhausted, physically, mentally, and emotionally. I faked my energy so that I could survive for the day. I only had my daily prayers with me. I felt like when I needed my closest people, I kept asking, where are they? Why was no one there for me when I would always be there for them? I don't know. Things felt unfair. What has this month brought me, I ask. So in general, as the days went by, I was questioning who I was. I was basing my worth on things that should have not defined me. My thoughts were misplaced, also the feelings that I've had. I was torturing myself mentally that I felt so exhausted. Hence, the description of the vlog in the thumbnail, When Things Fall Apart. Nevertheless, the most heartwarming occurrence for this month was my brother's graduation from college. It was a thrilling season since we had to wait for the final deliberations for his academic award and just like that, he graduated magna cum laude, just like me. <laughs> I was deeply rooting for him to be one since, you know, I, I was once like that so I want him to be like me too or better. I knew that he would always do better than me, I knew he is smarter and whatnot and I I actually learned of the results of his award a week before I revealed it to him so it's like I had to keep it as a secret he cried a lot and yeah I'm just very proud as a sister I could not say more Hi vlog! So now I am currently packing my things for May 25 and 26. So mind you, it's the graduation fever of the Western Mindanao State University. And today, kaka-uwi ko lang actually from errands that I needed to run. The other day, I had my fittings and nagpili ako ng outfit. It was so exhausting. Medyo pagod pa ako actually. I had like 7 outfits to try on na napakahirap mag-decide because number one, I do not anymore dress up as is kasi pandemic so like I just wear shirt, sneakers and whatnot so 
I finally decided on one and it's actually in the bed. On the bed. So, yun. Now, I am packing things. In front of me is my luggage. Ilalagay ko sa luggage lahat para sa bike. So, 25 night, I'll be checking in at the hotel, Win Hotel. And then, we'll be sleeping over with my friend, Heidi. Um, and then, uh, after that ceremony sa so 26, early morning, kaya kailangan ng hotel na lang talaga. Kasi yung makeup artist pa. And then, after that, comes my brother's party. He graduated magna cum laude. So, parang yun. There's a family event. So, yun. Tuloy-tuloy na siya. So, I'm thinking about two nights siya sa hotel. So, that I, it's, it's a free movement na lang talaga. And also, less hassle. Kasi it's, it's within city limits. So, mabilis lang. But I have to pack properly kasi hindi na ako babalit after 25, 26. So, diba? So, yeah. Now, it's here. And slash mga nilabahan damit pinalondre ko yung iba dito. And I have to pack them off. And I'm just in my homey clothes. Actually, galing ako sa labas. This is my outfit with the pants lang. So, yeah. Mm. And then, I already took hold na of my toga as MA. And, yun nga, why is this such a big deal to me? Basically, because, number one, ngayon lang nag-face-to-face -face graduation. So, dapat, you have to grace the occasion as faculty. And, number two, it's basically because it's my first time to march na with my new academic gown. That's why it's kind of a big deal to me then. Kasi the last time I marched, I told myself, pagbalik ko next year, two lines na sa Hindi na siya black toga. So now, it's happening. Kaya parang gusto ko talaga. Plus, kapatid ko din mag-graduate. My best friend Heidi is going to finish her MA. So like, it's a very nice occasion to attend to. Kaya I prepared well for this. So... Hindi siya pwede lang parang for the sake. Kasi, you never know, maybe next year wala na namang face to face, right? So, grace the occasion. So, yeah. Let's pack up and I'm gonna finish this thing. So far, yung pinag shopping ko nandito. And, uh, here's my contact lens. Yan, ready na lahat so far. Except for belt, which I might need to use sa party ng kapatid ko. But, oh, we'll see. Hindi ko na mag belt. So, yeah. Basically, it. So, Enjoy this vlog and yeah, we view things. So yeah, I'm very excited. So just have fun watching this vlog and uh, stay with me. I guess it will go a long way until graduation. Uh, so yeah. Just minor details pala. Nasa Win Win Hotel no Win. Win Hotel kami now. It's a new hotel in the city and so far ang ganda ng services. The room is super nice. Yeah. So I guess I'll just flash a video and the curtains are too pretty too. <laughs> Very minimalist. <laughs> Tour yard. Super ganda ng, ng room and the services so far. So if you would wanna check in in Zamboanga City, char. Think about Win Hotel. This is a free endorsement and not sponsored. So, yes. Yan po si Heidi. There, yan yung ano namin. Toga and whatnot. Um, the laptop. I'm editing a video. So, yan. The voucher is here finally. So, yan. That's it. And this one. As you have seen, a lot has happened in May that has really brought me great doubt about myself. Though there were the happy times, but 
generally it was all about doubt and hopelessness at some point but as a life lesson that i could impart it would be pointing to practicing resilience at the end of the day you would only have yourself to yourself remember that the people around you even those you call your closest people have their life going on too and you are in no position to put burdens on them since they have problems on their own they can be around but you cannot ask much from them stand up for yourself if you are tired remember that they can also be tired learn to rest do not expect on people so much as it leads to disappointments and worse misplaced thoughts so keep up and at times you really have no choice but to choose to be strong the month ended roughly for me since after the graduation hype i had to take an exam with only two days of possible review a first in my long year of academic experience and five days after that another set of exams were given to us and just like that i felt everything was shaking but because i chose resilience i finished all of those challenges strong Though some things remained unresolved, especially the damaged feelings I had from the mental and physical tortures of the events for the month, probably I say burnout, I kept on going and that is what I'm going to tell you more when my June vlog comes to existence. Thank you for watching my vlog, I deeply appreciate it. Please leave a comment below and let me know that you were here. I will see you on my next vlog.